is the 25 gram BRS titanium stove really that good? Rob will answer that question. <laughs> What's going on everyone? Rob here with Arpelton One. Thanks so much for tuning in, greatly appreciate it. On a really nice day hike down in a, a Louisville swamp area, uh, right in uh, Minnesota here, it's really nice. Hiking with Steven today, he suggested this area and I've, I've passed it a hundred times, I never thought about it, but it's it's pretty nice in here. We're in the orange because uh, Bird hunting's going on right now and archery deer hunting is going on right now. So just to add a little safety measure here. Well, we're gonna sit down. Uh, it's warming up. It's still maybe 33, 34 degrees outside, but the sun's really heating some stuff up. But we're gonna try some stoves, make a couple hot beverages and just enjoy some of the time out here before we gotta head back to reality, so. Well, the stoves that we're gonna try out today to compare it with the BRS is my tried and true original MSR Pocket Rocket. I bought this thing years and years ago and it's always worked like a champ. It's got very few moving parts, which I think aids in its durability. But yeah, it, it's a little bit heavy. It's, it's uh, I believe it's 86 grams or something like that. I'll leave a, a notation right down there. So not the lightest thing in the world, you know, compared to the, the BRS, which is 25 grams. But Steven actually brought a different stove to kind of test out as well. I've got the Soto Amicus. A lot of good reviews on that. And that's a little heavier too. That's, you know, 86 grams or something like that. About, it's about the same as this, to be honest with you. But very packable, very functional. But then again, I mean, nothing compared to that, right? But is this that good? All right. So my stove I have today is a Soto Amicus. It weighs about 81 to 82 grams. I'm a huge fan of it, recently got it. Does have a built-in piezo igniter, does have stands built in. It is similar to the Soto Windmaster, a little bit smaller. Windmaster is a little bit better performing, but the Windmaster is a much larger uh, burn area and it does have a removable pot stands. Whereas this is integrated, a little bit smaller footprint, a little bit lighter, a little bit more packable. Uh, from everything I've seen, it's a very well-performing stove in winds and out, outside of winds. Uh, don't need a windscreen with it, so I'm a big fan. I think new, this costs maybe $39.95. I think the Amicus was about $45, bucks, yeah. you know, give or take. And both of these stoves, yeah, they're, they're very similar, um, designed a little bit different, differently. His is a little newer, obviously, but, but it, you know, that's what it looks like. And it, like I said, it's worked really, really well. Well, let's get the BRS set up and see what that looks like. Now, the BRS on Amazon, it's like $16.95. Comes in just this little kind of cheap packaging, little storage sack with it. Comes with an extra O-ring, which is kind of nice. But look at this thing. This is 25 grams and 16 bucks. And I'm hoping that it's gonna perform and burn just as well as the rest. But I guess that's what we're out here for. Darwin on the trail and a lot of the you know bigger hiker YouTubers, they all use this stove and they, and they really, really like it. So, but it is tiny. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Gotta put the... Oh, is it turned on? Oh, okay. Okay, so yeah. out of the package, the valve is open, so be sure to close the valve before you before you tighten, <laughs> tighten it on. <laughs> but there it is, simple, small, compact, and, and it feels like a solid build. Let's let's put it to a burn test. So we got all three set up. The profiles are pretty different on it as far as the heights go. Now the one advantage I will say about the BRS, this little guy here 
it's going to be a lot more packable. It's going to take up a lot less space, um, but it, it, it has you know the the weight advantage too. But uh, we're going to boil eight ounces on the Amicus right now without a windscreen, and we'll see how that goes. So you got eight ounces in there. Eight ounces. Yep. All right. We'll get this thing rolling. So my coffee today is Kuju Coffee Base Camp Blend. It is a pour over coffee, so pretty unique little design. It actually has some little pull out pieces of paper here. Fancy. These are the stands, you open the top and then you basically just treat it as you would a traditional pour over coffee. Uh, there is, seem to be a really cool company. They put back 1% of their profits to national parks. Uh, so they have some neat, neat goals and missions uh, and it's good stuff. So a little, little bit better than your instant coffee. Medium roast, chocolate, oats, and honey. What? I'm not a coffee guy, but I might have to sample this. Not that I like better in the morning than taste of oats in my mouth. <laughs> we're full boil here. I think we're about 235 to 237 for a full boil on this. All right, so we want to first just get some water on the ground so it's gonna bloom the coffee, it's gonna purge any CO2, it's gonna get all those those CO2 flavors out of the coffee. I believe that's what it is. I don't even know what I'm doing, but we're gonna bloom the coffee. It's gonna get it a little wet. We're gonna let it sit for about 30 seconds or so um, just to, to bloom. So we'll get the other one boiling here. So <laughs> two minutes, 35 seconds for the amicus, not bad at all. And we're using the same mug, they're both 750 tokes. This has got a bail on it. So the time should be, the control should be very, very similar. Eight ounces. And I'm gonna roll with the original tried and true pocket rocket. All right. All right, this one I need a lighter, no igniter on this thing. All right, and timer is going. I think it's rolling already. Oh yeah, she's boiling big oh, time. You're at two, 228. Two minutes, 28 seconds. And all of these are set at full power, just blasting it. Yeah. Mm. Not bad, the pocket rocket, man. Yeah. I tell you, it's worked really, really well. All right, is this little thing gonna be anywhere close to these? All right, starting to chill down a little bit. Yeah. All right, so we, without a windscreen, Amicus is at 235. The Pocket Rocket was 228. So very, very similar, you know, just kind of depending, you know, on conditions, who know. But I, I would consider them pretty much equal at this point. So I got a cold mug with the same water in there, eight ounces. It's, it's you know, the... The pot stands is big enough for it. So let's light this thing up and see how this baby does. I'm kind of frightened of it, to be honest with you. <laughs> it's gonna blow up. I don't know, man. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, man. Oh, man. I, can, I can hear the wind affecting it quite a bit. Sounds weird. If it blows up, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> I'm a little scared. <laughs> All right, timer started. So it does seem the wind affects the flame a little bit more than the others. So I think with the uh, pocket rocket, it's got these little wind guards on it. And the amicus, I mean, it's just designed. It's, it's a little convex, you know, to, to help keep the wind off it, so. But I think this is a lot more susceptible to wind, which I bet would affect the, the burn time of that, so. I think it's kind of cave. Come back oh yeah, you're right, damn it, yeah. yeah. Just <laughs> Concave! Concave! Damn it! <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. All right, we're getting to it. Wow! It's, it's at a boil, it's at a boil, and we're at... 20, 35? 
235? Yeah, we're rolling boil. Wow. Wow. That's impressive. That's very impressive. It sounded like a, a much more inconsistent flame, but she was rolling just like the rest of them, 235. So they're all very, very comparable. I mean, if they were in a stiff wind, would it matter? Would it matter with a windscreen? Don't know. Yeah, Maybe. today it uh, probably wouldn't make a huge No, there's, there's no wind today, so it probably yeah. wouldn't make a huge difference, but I, I I see no downsides of it. I mean, what are your what are your thoughts, man? No, it's it's great. You know, it uh I I would say that to me if you were going out in the wind, I I would I'd probably just take the pocket rocket instead of that in the windscreen just because you're going to be lighter weight and that pocket rocket should perform in in most windy situations pretty well um, right. it's obviously gonna lose performance as you get really windy so this with the windscreen if you're out in a pretty bad uh, conditions might work better than the pocket rocket right. yep so that weight might be worth it in really bad conditions but so the the screen itself weighs 71 72 grams or 81 82 grams yeah, 82. it weighs the same as the other two stoves so combining this with this you end up a little bit heavier it's kind of a toss-up on how you want to mix and match these things, but I don't know. I, I, I think it's not overly hyped. I, I, I thought it was for a long, long time, but it's small, it's light, it's super compact, and it boils water just as well as these others. I'm, I'm really surprised. So now I'm just going to bring in a couple more backpacking trips and see how well it works in, you know, in different conditions. But. I would say, too, with Amazon's return policy, you have no risk. I mean, if you get if you get one that's a lemon, and you might be a little more likely with a, you know, with a lesser expensive stove off of Amazon, you simply send it back and, and get another one. So yeah, no real risk. Yep. Wow, very cool. If you have any questions about this stove, if you have any comments or any experiences with this stove, leave those questions comments down in the comment area. I read all of them. I respond to all of them. But man, yeah, I, like I said, I'm very surprised. I appreciate you coming along on this gorgeous, gorgeous fall day going into winter day. Special thanks to Steven. He does have a YouTube channel as well. I'll link his channel right up here, so check his stuff out. But yeah, until next time, get outside. Enjoy this big, beautiful Enjoy. world. See you on the next one. I am so surprised. Yeah, I did good.